I'm really excited to share with you Graph CMS Components. A component is a predefined set of fields that can be used across models and content entries. Creating a component works similar to how it does when you are creating a model. You can give it a display name, API ID, plural API ID, and a description. Let's create our first component, and we'll call this Carousel. And we can see on the right we have all of the different fields that we can add to this component in the same way as we can to any other model. Inside of the Carousel component, I'm going to add a simple caption, and I will add an asset, which will be the Carousel photo. We also have components for address, hero, promotional banner, SEO, and testimonial. If we go to the page model, you may have worked with GraphQL union types before to build some kind of component layout or blocked layout. We'll now use a new type of field, which will be either basic component or modular component. In the case of our page where we want to store SEO information, such as a meta title, description, keywords, open graph images, and more, we can use a basic component. This will directly embed the fields from our component into the content model. I'm going to call this group of fields meta, and from the component, I'm going to select SEO. Now if we save, we can see the new meta basic component is added. If we switch to content editing, and we add a new page, we can see here that we have this new page, and we have the field meta where we can add SEO. If we click to add SEO, we can now see that we have all of the fields from our SEO model inside of this component. We can add a title, description, keywords, and an open graph image. If we finish by giving our page a title, and we'll update the slug to be home, we can then save this page. Now with this saved, let's go back to our schema editor. And this time we'll add a modular component. This component is a dynamic collection of fields. So let's call this blocks. We'll also allow multiple values to be added here. And we'll select from the allowed components that we wish to allow people to add a hero, carousel, promotional banner, and a testimonial. If we create that component, we'll now see that we have blocks added to our page. Let's go ahead and move blocks above the meta field. Now if we switch back to the content entry for our homepage, we now see that we have this field for blocks. We can now click to add a new component to this blocks field. And these are directly embedded into this entry without creating new content entries as you may have done with GraphQL union types before. Let's choose to add a hero and we'll give it a title. We'll give it a subtitle and we'll select an image that we already have instead of our project. Now if we scroll down, we can choose to add another component. And here let's add a promotional banner. You can see inside of here that we have a CTA field and we have a theme value that's using the field type color. This renders a nice color picker that we can use to pick a promotional color for our banner. Now with that added, let's add a carousel to our page. And we can see here we can add a caption and we can add a photo. Now if we scroll up, we can see that we have some blocks. We can collapse these so it's easier to see what's going on. We can also rearrange these if we need to or we can use the icons to move items up or down the list. Now let's finish by adding a testimonial to our page. Now with this page saved, if we head on over to the API playground, we can make a query to fetch our pages. You can now see that we have this blocks union type where we can fetch the hero, carousel, promotional banner, and the testimonial. If we run this, we can now see that we have those entries inside of our page. Instead of just fetching the ID, let's actually fetch the title and subtitle for our hero as well as the caption and the photo URL for the carousel. And for the customer, we'll fetch the name, quote, and the rating. If we scroll down, you can now see that we have a meta field, and this lives directly inside of this content entry. We can fetch the description, keywords, title, and that all important open graph image URL. If we run this query, you'll see we get all of the content we need to build our front end, and all of this data is stored within one content entry. Another example you may be familiar with is a order. An order can have a shipping address or a billing address. Here we have these basic components added to our order model. So when we go to edit content and we create a new order, when we click to add an address, we get these fields directly added inside of this model. And we can reuse that same component as the billing address. 